The body of the late Isaac Ba of Umusume, High Chief Augustine Ona, was received at his residence in Obiaroku Delta State, where the family members and chiefs paid their last respects to him. <laughs> The deceased homeward journey later kicked off with a funeral mass. The officiating priest, Reverend Father Bernard Alaba, eulogized the late High Chief Honor for his commitment to the service of God and his community. He wants Christians to live a life worthy of emulation. If God has prepared a home for every one of us, then how do we get there? It is by good works that we get there. We have to live good lives, worthy lives as children of God. The body was then taken to the graveside for committance to Mother Earth. My father was a very great man. He's a man that took other children like his children. He's a man that have the interest of the community. He's a man of the people. A man of integrity. A loving father. A father that knows how to take care of his children. The only man that gave white men chief title tattoo in Obiaroko. The man who has vested in, his society, in this community that he can never be forgotten. This is actually a very big loss. Not only to the children, to my friends, to people around and it's heartbreaking but thank God he lived a very fulfilled life and then we're celebrating him. I miss the man that would always give me a reason to strive in life. A man that I've taken as a role model. Attention shifted to the reception for the celebration of a life they say was well spent by the deceased. <laughs> Grandpa, okay, was my best friend. That was, that was what I was saying. He's always still going to be here. He can't, he's not going to leave. Nobody can take his space forever and ever. He's just there. May he still rest in peace. Grandpa was a tight man. He was cool. He was patient. He was a good and respectful man. He was always there when I need him. I love him so much. I wish that he never died. He provided for us. He gave us joy, happiness, and peace. He bring our people fed before himself. I know he's going to rest in peace in Jesus' name. Dignitaries from all walks of life joined the family to bid farewell to the late High Chief Honor, whom they described as a loving and caring father. Truly a very peaceful man, business in nature, a political warlord. I think I trust him very, very much, and I will miss him. You can remember him for his honesty and sincerity. He's somebody who will tell you, I will do this, and he does it. NTA staff from Bini and Asaba were also on ground for their own Okoshukuka owner, a daughter-in-law to the deceased. He was a father in the real sense of that word. His uh, wise counsels, his uh, ways of encouragement. We just pray that God will grant him eternal rest. Late High Chief Augustine Honor, who was a businessman, died on the 20th of September last year at the age of 73. He is survived by a wife, 14 children, 24 grandchildren, and other relatives from Obiaruku in Delta State. Jude Aweke, NTA News.